So coming to Bavaria, mainly to come to visit Munich, wasn't going to be just to see Munich on our agenda. We also wanted to go to the countryside, so we decided to go to Tegensee, and now we're going to check out one other place called Bad Tölz. The town of Bad Tölz sits roughly 50 kilometers south of the city of Munich. What initially began as an early 14th century market town, blossomed into a spa town by the late 19th century, and hence the name of the town went from being just Tölz to Bad Tölz. While in more modern times, the town is well known for its spas and wellness centers, it is also famous for its antiquity. One of the main highlights of Bad Tölz is its town center, situated on the Marktstrasse, or in English, the Market Street, where the colorful buildings that stand today comprise of a charming little shopping center that were once part of the town's thriving historical life. So I'm currently standing in the old town of Bad Tölz, and one of the things you immediately notice upon coming over here is that there's a lot of historical buildings. And one thing I'd say about Bad Tölz is that it's definitely maintained the old charm of its history very well. Still standing in the medieval old town remains many of the original buildings from the late medieval and early Baroque periods. Many of the buildings here on the Marktstrasse also indicate the years in which they were built. However, Many of the buildings that stand here today were built after 1453, the year in which a great fire had destroyed many of the original edifices. As well as a fire that had ravaged the town, Bad Tölz had seen many disasters that have come to define our modern concept of life in the Middle Ages. The town was situated in the middle of the great European powers, where territorial and religious conflict was not uncommon. The 17th century Thirty Year War between the Catholic and Protestant European states as well as the Franco-Austrian rivalry, brought devastation to the area and even resulted in the plague killing off a significant population of the town. As somebody who appreciates medieval history, let me just say I think I've found my favorite city in all of Germany. While history is certainly a defining visual and atmospheric characteristic of the town, Bad Tölz also happens to be a great place to track around. As well as giving walkers the opportunity to traverse through the town's green spots and wildlife, as well as a stroll by the banks of the Isa River and to some scenic views over the town, a walk through Bad Tölz also provides an opportunity to absorb the town's heritage. One of the town's highlights is the Kalvarienbergkirche, an 18th century Baroque church built on a hill, which was once the site of one of the town's two execution sites during the Middle Ages. Essentially, the Calvarian Bergkirche is a double church, with the largest building being the Heilige Kreuzkirche, which can be seen from afar. And from up there, you can get a stunning view of the town. As well as the stunning architecture, both internal and external of the church, the church's grounds also consist of several grottos and a monument to the crucifixion. While it may not be the most sought-after museum to those outside of the German-speaking world, but many of us that happen to live within it might be familiar with the old Bavarian TV show Der Bulle von Tölz, translated in English as The Bull from Tölz, a detective series with some subtle comedy. The long-running series was both filmed and largely based in this town, and this museum is dedicated to the show's legacy. For those of us familiar with the show, I highly recommend seizing upon the opportunity to visit. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.